Et pour qu'ils ne soient pas faits, aucune référence à un modèle de développement à la question posée. Merci. Mais très très bonne question. Mon déformation professionnelle, j'ai toujours aimé commencer par quel est le problème à résoudre. C'est une déformation. Parce que généralement, moi, que nous devons faire une discussion toute la journée. Hein? Mais nous, pour, genre, si nous ne pas nos problèmes, nous ne pas entendre nos solutions. Donc c'est pour ça que tu vois, j'ai commencé par mettre ça. Parce que si nous ne pas entendre nos que un problème, si on est que dit, ah mon cher, il n'y a pas de problème. Parce que depuis 2000... 2011, couple à grévé. Nous venons discuter. Donc, j'ai effectivement voulu présenter ça pour dire que voici le problème. Maintenant, l'autre chose aussi que 15 années d'expérience m'a montré, c'est que pas une seule solution. Même l'antique, ça a été publié par le fond, qui font très belle analyse de qui politique dominicaine fait par rapport à la politique Haïti parfait fait. Par exemple, Touillio, il y en a, ils ont fait 40% de couverture pour essayer jusqu'à présent. C'est parce que Touillio. Vous le savez, j'en dame depuis aucun bois, pour pépier bois. Il y a arrêté, c'était une affaire vraiment extraordinaire. Ce qui est une politique qu'on ne peut pas appliquer aujourd'hui chez nous. On ne peut pas le faire de cette façon. Les raisons évidentes. Donc, solutions politiques et solutions développementales, il y a plusieurs, il y a pluriel. Et personnellement, pas pour moi, il y a une qui était moins. Tu sais, aujourd'hui, pas un secret, la médecine, mon école, la bail santé, la créer un emploi. Pour un pays comme quoi, il y a 27 000 km, là, 1h45 des États-Unis. Quoi, moi, ça, c'est pas notre problème. Et c'est ça aussi qui est l'issue, to be brief. Pourquoi est-ce que des problèmes qui ont des solutions prouvées, nous pourrons jamais appliquer Donc, le problème, c'est justement l'organisation, le nous collectif qui pour faire application, pas exister. Donc, le problème est en amont. Mais une fois qu'on est organisé, tu vas voir, le budget nous gagne, ajouter à ce que transfère la diaspora, ajouter aux possibilités d'investissement. Électricité, moins bon garantie. On dit à quoi organiser autour d'un fonds d'investissement. Investissement pour mettre courant en Haïti. C'est 3-5 ans. C'est un no big deal. Tu vois pas? Même ça fait des années depuis que nous ne mettre courant. Et essentiel courant pour être sorti de près que nous allons faire au niveau de notre mondial. Ce qui n'a pas de sens, à mon avis. Donc, pour, pour la solution, je suis sûr que nous avons bien l'autre qualité de débat. Parce que chaque monde est expert, il faut me dire ça. Mais on entend nous d'abord sur le problème. Si, si on s'entend sur le problème, on s'entendra sur la solution. Je n'ai pas de doute. You showed two diagrams in your presentation. Yes. They were very touching. The country's deforestation is a big problem. Right. And the economic divide and development of, the, of Haiti shows you how the world went this way and Haiti's flatline has gone that way. Clearly, sustained economic impact mm -hmm. is the way to change. Really? In this theory and mm -hmm. hypothesis that you're putting together, What is the direct sustainable economic impact that you foresee, and what is the instrument that you're going to use to do it? Right. Listen, that's a fair question. You see, that's why that question was the last question. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the questions. No, it's a very fair question. Uh, look, unfortunately, whatever economic theory you want to apply, you need institutions. You, government does transformative investment. That's why Kagame today in Rwanda is growing at 9%, from 7% to 9%. He put in place, so you have, that's why Minless before he died in Ethiopia. Go ahead. It's a trick question to ask you, because I, I, I have a follow-on for you. Okay. But th what, what we're saying is, and I don't disagree with you either, I'm saying that what this does is direct impact, is it influences the institutions and the people who lead them first. Because that's been, the theory here is that what, what's happened here is lack of, it's, it's just bad policy making. Over 50 years of bad, who makes policies? Senators, congressmen, who executes these policies? Who makes policy, I'm sorry, government? Who makes laws, parliaments? So until you have the type of leadership that can actually instill the right policies, no matter what good policy you and I may know or want, it's not going to happen. So I'm saying that we have to work above, make sure as the diaspora, as a middle, extended version of the middle, middle class, that we actually have a more effective governance system, a more reliable governance system. And then we can have the discussion on policy. That, that, that's the point. Okay, the follow-up? The follow-up is that, um, again, sustainable economic impact 
is a is a mandate of the people that we're discussing this diaspora. Right. What is your plan to effectively motivate them to become a sustainable economic force of impact? For That's the whole idea, and actually, I'm open to suggestions on this. So. The start of this is for us to agree on what the issues are. That's the start. They use this platform to bring people together around what the problems are. And then use the platform and person-to-person -person contact to think about what the solutions can be, very progressively. And then use the platform again then to think about how we actually implement these. For me, it's a three-step process. That's the whole thing. Now, and I agree with you. I know a lady that, run, that works with hometown associations. I don't know if you know what the hometown associations are. There's about between anywhere between it's, 250. It's called regional associations, yes. And it's an incredible organization. I mean, they have about 250 to 300 Haitian hometown associations. When I looked at them, some of them work extremely well. Some of them do not work well. But even the ones that are working well are only having a drop in the bucket in terms of impact. Really, I mean, it won't be a significant change. So the whole idea is for us to all come together and say, while his organization is 18,000 people, I think that's incredible. I think he should continue to do what he's doing. But meanwhile, he needs to hand the land, lend a hand to what you're doing, what we're doing, to change the institutions without which they can't be that economic progress. One quick thing I want to give you as an example. In the 1980s, the World Bank came in Haiti and told the government of Duvalier that they should stop subsidizing agriculture. They explained that there was no future in agriculture for Haiti, and that Haiti should invest in manufacturing and tourism. Haiti, which used to export sugar, today export, imports 100% of the sugar it consumes, 70% of the food we eat. This is a bad policy that was recommended by the World Bank, implemented by the Duvalier government that was in government. So as long as you continue to have inadequate governance, you'll continue to have, at the same time in most of Asia, when the World Bank were telling them because of structural adjustment, including China, China had a simple strategy. They will do the contrary of whatever the bank says. <laughs> but for that, for that, what do you need? And I'm sorry about this because it's so important. For that, what do you need? You need strong government and institutions. In, in, in 2005, I saw Minles in Ethiopia. Tell the World Bank guy, on these terms, take your money and go. So until we have the people, the warm bodies, to make the right policy decisions, we're going to continue down this curve, unfortunately. Now, that being said, I want to quickly add that throughout this period, I'm not trying to say that everybody that was in, co in government was bad. There have been some very good and committed people in almost all our institutions. But as a system, it's failed. And, and again, I want to leave you with, with, with Einstein. Insanity is doing the same thing over again and expecting a different result. If anything tonight, leave with this thought. What is it that we, internal or external Haitians, what are we going to do differently so that 2014 doesn't look like 2012? Moi, je suis Benny Jean, je suis directeur de Radio La Voix Catholique. Ouais, télé image, c'est image. Je suis Sonia Frère, je suis une infirmière. Télé image, c'est image. Mon nom, c'est Lionel Pierre, artiste, chanteur, compositeur. Télé image. C'est l'image pâle. Nos papes, c'est DJ Régis Soundmaster. C'est l'image, c'est l'image pâle.